Now this small demonstration shows how to move an object, a control uh, on a WPF uh, form. We have here a, a WPF um, project with two uh, target positions. Uh, in this example it's a board or a rectangle and a uh, text box which I may uh, move. So there's the text box and I included there a mouse move event and on the rectangle uh, on, on this area and this object, this object there's, uh, it, uh, it's just to show that we move there. It's not, not a drag drop uh, element at the moment and uh, event at the moment and now we have here the uh, main grid the window and the grid uh, the grid itself has a, also a mouse move event now when we started uh, you see here the uh, text box and I may move it okay so that's uh, basically how uh, to move that it's possible to move uh, an object or control on WPF uh, application and um, now I show you what happens on uh, the code side. The code side we have here the main grid move event and the text box uh, move event. So when you're in the text box and you uh, click uh, the, the mouse or move there then uh, the a small function uh, uh, co uh, controls or uh, checks if you if the mouse button is pressed and if it is pressed if you uh, if you move it and uh, the mouse the, uh, at this application I set the cursor to the hand uh, icon and then the ma uh, the project uh, controls or checks is the mouse button pressed so uh, dragging uh, an object is always the mouse is pressed uh, and if the cursor is a hand, then I uh, then I get the mouse position, the actual one. I calculate uh, the first the, the margins of the text position uh, of the object. Now we have here the text object, and I uh, calculate the l the upper margin, the uh, hey and the bottom margin. So this is here what you see if you using uh, Visual Studio you see always if you have a, an object you have the uh, the top margin, the bottom margin. Now you if when you uh, move an object you do it by changing the margin on uh, the, uh, the margin on of, of the object. But what you need is also you need uh, to define a hey and a width uh, into in the object. Otherwise, uh, system thinks it's uh, the, if there's not a hey or a width def width devi uh, defined, the then the calculation goes uh, expects that it's uh, zero. You have to uh, be careful on there if, because sometimes it uh, will be set to zero. Uh, now, if you do it like this, you see. Now the hay uh, is lost, so you have to define a hay. For example, like there here, hay. <coughs> hay is let's say thirty pixels. Uh, <coughs> so when you have this, you have the margin or the distance from uh, the top border to the control, then the hay and then the bottom uh, margin. And that's what the calculation does. It, uh, it gets the mouse position, says okay that's a uh, epsilon position, and uh, then it calculates the window hay, and it says okay uh, the bottom mar margin is the actual window hay, minus the uh, minus the hay of the object itself and the uh, margin from the top side 
and additionally you need to calculate the caption of the uh, of the window hey uh, window caption hey and the border width so this is uh, the window hey is calculated from here from the beginning to the uh, lower end that's why you always have to always have to subtract the this area and this small uh, um, border so again we what we see here is when we start it you see i may drag it now oh, come on uh, i've done something wrong ah here it goes it's not not perfect not a perfect code